Welcome back to the channel guys Right, it's prom night Our singer from the V12 band His son is going to a prom tonight And he said, Jess, I've got to be dropped off in that gorgeous stag So here we are, it's an absolutely beautiful evening um, this car just is awesome. I'm really gonna miss this car when it goes It's still for sale by the way guys if you're uh, if you're into if anyone's interested just Send me a, um, a DM and uh, We'll go from there uh, It's just ready to take to the shows and to be enjoyed But it's uh, you know Should I really sell this car? I absolutely love this car <laughs> Well, yeah, there we go, off to um, Gisborough Hall. We have passed it, you've seen it in my past videos. Uh, it's not too far from beautiful Saltburn by the sea. Uh, as you can hear this thing burbling away in the background. Oh, listen to that. Boom. So you just love a good old stag. Yeah, these cars sound awesome. So if you're in the market in the market for a really nice sorted Triumph Stag, this is the one to come and have a look at. It's uh, it's well worth it. Um, I just want to see your son's face. He's never been in the car before. He's just seen it. Uh, he's been pestering his dad. Oh, will Jess take us to the prom in that car? But I said to him, you are going to be the talk of the um, of the prom. You might get fixed up through it. You know, everyone else will be just, you know, going out in the boring cars, you know, the Porsches and the, uh, the Range Rovers and Daddy's Bentley. I know. So uh, there will be another Triumph stack, I guarantee you. So he's going to be dropped off in a classic 19, it'll be the oldest car as well, no doubt, 1972. A bit like me. Good old Gen X. I was born in 69 though. Uh, now maybe I should get a 69 Mustang. That'd be awesome. <coughs> oh, this car's gorgeous. Look at the scenery here as well. It's stunning. Beating down on your face. Oh, you just can't beat it. If only we had weather like this all the time. Uh, well, maybe through global warming. Good, good old global warming. Great. Bring it on for me. It's a lot of bullshit. Oh yeah. Everybody knows what the real issue is. It's not running these beautiful cars. It's the amount we're doing it by. Too many people on the planet, guys and girls. Too many of us. We need a good old asteroid to wipe most of us out. Which will probably happen one day. But in the meantime, just enjoy day to day. That's how I live my life. Day by day. Just the best way to be. Oh, it's just so lovely. North Yorkshire is the best county. You know, I'm not going to get held up in traffic like you do, Dad. Jeez, I don't know where you live in cities. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I hate the places. It's bad enough when we got a gig in there. <coughs> Coming back from Preston, guys. I got a speeding ticket. Yeah, So you you try and go out, you try and make a living. You know, I play in a band. You know that on the on the weekend. So on the way back from Preston, on the M1 between junctions 42 and 44, apparently I was doing 59 miles an hour in a 50. 
It's one of these predictive speed cameras have got me. Uh, yeah, nothing on, nothing on the roads. No workmen. Um, in the middle of the night, 1.26 a.m. It's just one big money-making racket and it's really, I'm really angry about it because I'll, uh, I've had a clean license since 2000. So yeah, that uh, money-making form came through the door and they said, right, you can go on a, a speed course, which you have to pay for. I think it's 80 quid, just so you don't get the three points on your license. It just fucking winds me up, it really does. So yeah, the trailer on the back, you know what I mean? I, I, it's not as if I was doing 159 miles an hour. I could understand if there was workmen doing some work, which they don't do fuck all anyway half the time. You just see them on the mobile phone sat the cars. But anyway, we're nearly in Gisborough. Going to uh, overdrive now. Oh yeah, you can hear that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna film his delighted face. So we've got uh, a good half an hour first before we do that. I think I'll go get myself a Costa coffee. You need to build the Triumph Stag again. We'll keep the V8. Don't make it the stupid electric. Make it sound like this as well. It just, you know, obviously be better with uh, a modern drivetrain, eight-speed gearbox, manual, or seven-speed, or whatever it is now. Then go on, or people fuck about at roundabouts. Get out the way of the stick. Yes, I watch my speed. That's the thing that's what really maddens me. Because I'm not a fucking I know I'm a petrol head and everything and I love my cars and my speed and everything. But I don't speed. That's why I've had no points. Well, to do that at 1.26 in the morning, it's really fucking pissed me off. You know, you try and go out and make a living and you just get penalised for it. Where's the bus going? Get out of the way. Whooping on a bike as well. Cyclists. into Gisborough town now. Oh, you should hear the echo. Oh, just listen to this. <laughs> so this is the perfect scenario, as you can see. Right guys, we're here, and we're here with Luke. Say hi, Luke. Hello. Are you excited for this Triumph Stag drive? I am. Yeah? yeah. Is it cool or is it cool? It's bloody brilliant. Yeah, you're gonna pull tonight, you know. He's gonna pull tonight. He's gonna pull. So anyway, we're on our way in a minute. So this is the big time, mate. This is where everyone's gonna get to see us getting dropped off in the stag. Yeah, I'll get out for you.
So that's what we're dealing with guys. Look, you can see everybody being dropped off in the stag. Hiya dad. Right guys, now we've got a Bentley Continental. We're dropped off here. Right, the two door Rolls Royce. Well guys, I've dropped him off. You want to see the cars that are pulling up to this bloody prom. Lamborghinis, Rolls Royces, McLarens. Wow, where do the kids get the parents get the fucking money from? Jeez. But anyway, it's the, it was the only stag there. Um, so was, the car was getting plenty of attention, even though it was in the uh, company of all these very, very expensive cars. Um, but it's been a really good day. The lad's face made his day. And that's all that counts. So on that note, see you again.